Hello, I'm Scott Manley with Rock and Boat LLC. While marketing Ron John, an amazing, safe, effective, and environmentally friendly solvent for removing coatings, paints, and adhesives, I have often been asked about a demonstration of how the product might be used. This video is a response to those requests. Please keep in mind that I'm not a professional furniture refinisher, but I do hope to provide you with some ideas about how to apply and use Ron John to prepare your surface for safe, easy paint removal. Of course, if you have a large enough tank, dipping your project in Ron John is a quick, easy method for removing the paint. But we want to demonstrate other techniques for those that do not have this capability. In an effort to convey the essentials while keeping the video short, I've edited out unimportant behind the scenes preparation and wait time. For demonstration, we will be using an old but not antique desk that belonged to my grandmother at one time. You will notice that it still has an adhesively bonded vinyl mat stuck to the top where her TV sat for years. The desk has a polyurethane coating of medium thickness over an oak colored stain. The first part of any job should be to examine the safety equipment that should be used for the process. When working with Ronjon, as with any chemical, safety glasses, goggles, or a face shield should be worn. Today I will be wearing safety glasses to avoid unexpected splashes to the eyes. If you are working in a poorly ventilated space, you should plan to wear a filtered mask that is rated for solvents and paints. Today I am working outside so this type of device is not necessary. Finally, you should plan to use gloves when there is risk of exposure to your skin. These vinyl latex kitchen gloves will last through short one-time usage. Since it is unlikely that I will get material on my hands as I apply the product, I will be using these later when we begin our stripping. All of these safety items can be found at your neighborhood hardware store. In preparation for this video, I've already poured Ron John liquid strip into my paint tray. When you use a tool such as a brush to apply the product, you should make sure the bristles are made of materials that will hold up to Ron John. I prefer to find inexpensive natural bristle brushes to apply the product. To apply, you can simply brush Ron John on your project, taking care to liberally cover the entire surface. Similarly, I have prepared a small amount of Ron John gel strip in advance. If not already available, it will be soon. This material is a nice, smooth, syrupy version of Ron John. With it, you can enjoy the same safety and effectiveness you have come to associate with Ron John solvents in a gel. To use Ron John gel strip, you can simply brush it on as we did the Ron John liquid strip. As you can see, the vinyl mat is not too difficult to remove, but the adhesive and small bits of vinyl stay on the desk. Neither Ron John product would work, but we will use Ron John liquid strip, which will more quickly penetrate and soften the mat while removing the adhesive and polyurethane. Ron John evaporates much more slowly than products you may be accustomed to using. This means that you will use less material for the same job and will not have to rush to complete the job before your solvent dries. If, however, you wish to increase the residence time of Ron John, you can cover your working surface with a standard food film. This trick, which was developed to overcome the fast evaporation rates of dangerous methylene chloride, methanol, MEK, and terpene blends, will further decrease the evaporation rate of Ron John. 
applying plastic wrap will also hold Ron John liquid strip on vertical surfaces. Another method of applying Ron John liquid strip to a complex vertical surface is to wrap the project with Ron John soaked cloth strips. My friend Ron Samandel, who is co-inventor of Ron John, suggests cheesecloth, but here I'm simply using strips from an old t-shirt. We will use our cloth strips to wrap this desk leg. Of course, you could always use Ron John gel strip, which is designed to stay on vertical surfaces. One final method of applying Ron John liquid strip is to spray it on. If you have the equipment, you can certainly use a paint gun, but you must be aware of the type of seals you have. Ron John will swell or dissolve many rubbers. Viton, EPR, and Teflon hold up well. If you don't have that type of equipment, an inexpensive polyethylene spray pump bottle from your local discount store will work fine. After about 15 minutes of dwell time, we're ready to begin stripping the paint from the desk. I'm using a small metal scraper, but a variety of tools of various sizes and shapes may be used to clean the coating from the contours of your project. Remember, I'm simply demonstrating application techniques and effectiveness, not how you should refinish your project. With just a small amount of pressure, the polyurethane comes off cleanly. A wipe of a cloth shows the clean wood which is still colored from the stain that soaked into the wood when it was applied. For refinishing, we can go with a similar shade or a darker stain. In the same manner, the areas that we covered with film and where we use Ron John gel strip can be easily stripped. Ron John liquid strip has softened the vinyl mat. With a little more time, it would have liquefied it. Like the gel strip, the liquid strip has also made easy work of the adhesive.
On the desk leg, the Ron John gel strip has completely softened the polyurethane, which is gently scraped away. When we unwrap our Ron John soaked cloth strips from the leg, we find that the coating has been softened for removal. Here, a curved bladed scraper and a fine pointed tool would have been helpful, but I think the point is made. Even the sprayed on Ron John liquid strip was sufficient to quickly strip the vertical desk front. In less than 10 more minutes, I managed to strip all the surfaces that we were working on. When the wood dried, our progress was much more noticeable. Hopefully, you've picked up a few ideas about how you can use Ron John to help with your refinishing projects. When used properly, Ron John will take much of the danger out of your finishing process and cut the time needed to strip your project. Whether you're a professional or a hobbyist, Ron John will provide a much more pleasant refinishing experience. Ron John is a better solvent solution. For more information, contact us at www.rockinboat.com or call 888-812-5001. Thank you and have a great day.